I'm just wondering, how many times are we going to have to see images of kids fleeing schools before we actually freaking do something? I mean, what are we, two, three weeks into the school year, and here we have a shooting with multiple casualties? When is it going to be enough? Like, this all started when I was a senior in high school. The, the Columbine thing happened, and we couldn't bring anything but a pencil and, like, a couple sheets of paper with us into the school. Or they were searching our backpacks. Like, it, we were the beginning of this. So, 18, 28, 38, 39, 40, 40 like, what are we, 25 years? 25 years! So as of when I took this screenshot, two people were confirmed killed and at least four were injured. But again, we'll see if this gets updated. I'm not sure if this is in Margie Taylor Greene's district or not. I don't think it is, but I still wanted to go to her page and see what her response was. And she said, please join me in prayer for all the students, staff, and families at Appalachia High School in Windsor, Georgia. There's been a school shooting and reports of multiple injuries are being reported. Uh, bitch. There aren't many of us out here who have the power to actually do something about this legislatively, but, um, you're one of them. But then I had a little hope that this guy, Mark Robinson, a Republican from North Carolina, running for governor, that his ad said, Same way they stand up against our Second Amendment. What are the words that we use when we, fat, when we stand up for our Second Amendment? The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I mean, it's simple, it's short. We understand it, and it's in our Constitution, and it's for everybody. But what do they do? They come up with these convoluted numbers about, well, you know, if you have 15,000 people that have AR-15s, 12 of those people are likely to be killed, and then school shootings happen, and then the children die. Yep, and some more children died today. And, you know, just because I like educating, let's have a read, shall we? Uh, the U.S. Constitution, Second Amendment, begins with a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So, regulated militia part, I'd like to speak with him about that. And finally, for all you Second Amendment gun-toting weirdos out there, let me ask you this question. When you speak about the Second Amendment and the Constitution, do you not also realize how many other amendments there have been to the Constitution? That's because the Constitution is a living, breathing document. That was the brilliance of it being written the way that it was. That means that over the last 200 and, you know, 25, 250 years, whatever it is, that the document should have evolved with society. So, you know, the musket people who took 30 seconds to reload a gun, maybe, just maybe, they didn't think about the guns and the, the uh, technology that we have today. Here's a crazy idea. How about all Americans pull our heads out of our ass and do something about kids being murdered at school? Because in case you haven't noticed over the last 25 years, thoughts and prayers haven't done a whole lot and God hasn't come down to fix this yet. So maybe we should do it. And if watching this doesn't piss you off, there's something wrong with you.